Hello, everyone, and welcome to Morning Devotions. Hope everybody's doing good today. <clears throat> I'm feeling really rough since my infusion yesterday. Um, I knew I would, especially since I was late. At least a month or more, uh, they wouldn't let me have it, you know, after my surgery. Um, I guess it's, I know it's over a month that I'm late for it, but uh, maybe six weeks or more. But uh, I knew it might hit me kind of hard. And, uh, I feel just beat up. My, my legs, uh, it's raining. I don't know if I'll, if I walk, it'll have to clear off, but I think it's supposed to rain off and on all day. Um, we'll see. But uh, I just feel, like I said, my back's hurting, my neck's hurting, my legs are hurting. I just feel worn out, uh, shaky. I was real shaky this morning, trying to hold the stylus this morning, checking my messages and stuff. But it'll, you know, it takes a few days and it'll pass. It'll pass. And then I'll start feeling better, hopefully. And the idea is eventually to get this in Tibio to put me in remission. I'm hoping that'll happen. That would be wonderful. All right. Um. Karina's cousin, Carlos, who was shot, was rushed back in for his fourth surgery. His wife, Betty, can't be with him, and she's going crazy. Pray for them both. Karina, give us an update uh, today uh, on how he's doing since that surgery, please. Uh, Kara Hamill needs prayer for her and her family. One of her daughters works in a facility where they test for the virus. Uh, Grayson's four years old, and needs prayers, he has severe injuries. That's all the information I ever got on that. Uh, Lori Lee needs prayer for her husband and her. He, he's gone back to work, her husband. Okay. Emily asked for prayers for Laura she previously had cancer and beat it. Now she may have it again. And Tamara asked for praying, praying for teenagers who are not following the law of the land and to be safe distancing from others. Diane's son is a corrections officer and there's cases of the virus in the prison he works at. Sherry Wade took her crashed to the street and was going to get her mail and fell on the street and she broke her fibula. And Brenda's husband, Nick, is having scans done. I think he, to see if he has chemo and radiation have done to the cancer. Uh, I think she's supposed to give me an update on that today, Brenda is. Preta Marion's daughter tested positive for the virus. Pray she will be okay. Elaine's sister's daughter has a kidney stone and will be okay. She's the one that took to the emergency room the other day. Nina's son was exposed to the virus and has been put in quarantine for two weeks. Pray he's okay. And Nina's son's two co-workers have been diagnosed with the virus. And from what I understand it, <clears throat> one of these that were diagnosed with the virus handed her son a set of keys when he took over a shift or something like that. And they're afraid that he's might have caught it from the keys. I mean, if the guy was using those keys with no gloves or anything and wiping it, rubbing his nose or whatever, you know, sneezing, anything, <clears throat> could have been all over them. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Kathy Smith's father-in-law is back in the hospital. He had a mini stroke, also testing him for the virus. His dimension, uh, dementia <clears throat> has taken over as well. I'm troubles with my throat this morning. Sarah Lewis needs prayer for Jacob and Miracle, their children. <clears throat> they are having flashbacks from the tornado and one and are afraid of the dark now. <coughs> I 
Oh, what's wrong? My throat all of a sudden. <clears throat> okay. Our Bible verses today is our Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give away and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our for fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, Be still, I know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Amen. So he's there for us. Okay. Our devotion today is entitled, Being Cared For. Debbie, the owner of a house cleaning service, was always searching for more clients to build up her business. On one call, she talked with a woman whose response was, I won't be able to afford that now. I'm undergoing cancer treatment. Right then, Debbie decided that no woman undergoing cancer treatment would ever be turned away. They would even be offered a free house cleaning service. So in 2005, she started a nonprofit organization where companies donated their cleaning services to women battling cancer. One such woman felt a rush of confidence when she came home to a clean house. She said, for the first time, I actually believed I could beat cancer. A feeling of being cared for and supported can help sustain us when we're facing a challenge. An awareness of God's presence and support can especially bring hope to encourage our spirit. Psalm 46, a favorite of many people going through trials, reminds us, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. And be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. Reminding ourselves of God's promises and his presence with us can be a means to help renew our heart and give us, give us the courage and confidence to go through hard times. So this is very appropriate for today. It sure is. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on the prayer list. Please help them all with their different needs. And help anybody that's been affected by the virus, Lord. And please help it to run its course and just go away. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope y'all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day. If it quits raining and my legs want to cooperate, I'll walk. If not, we may just do something later on, like, you know, coffee break out there or something where I could just sit. So, I mean, I, I need to walk, but if I, it's hurting like this, I don't know if I'll, if I'll do it or not. If I do, I'm going to be walking awful slow. But it's raining out there right now anyway, so we'll see what happens. I hope you all have a good day and find something, you know, interesting to do <laughs> during the day. I know it gets to be a challenge. I mean, I'm on my my phone and tablet most most of the time, and you know, unless I'm doing something I need to be doing. I mean, for with my extra time, I guess. I don't the TV's on, but I don't pay a whole lot of attention to the TV lots of times. I'm doing other little things. So, anyway, I'll see you later doing something, y'all. God bless. Bye-bye.